Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Wild at Heart. I just wanted to share with you a lovely summer nature activity, which is to make some petal ice cubes. They are just simple ice cubes that you make with cool boiled water. Um, and then you have a look in your garden to see what, what flowers you have that are edible. I've got some here which are classic edible flowers, which you can't go wrong. Uh, so we've got calendulas, which are staple for Wild at Heart. We use these in all sorts of activities. Uh, nasturtiums, very pungent fla flower. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work in a ice cube, whether that flavour will transfer to the ice cube and infuse into your drink. It's worth an experiment, another uh, nasturtium. We have uh, these blue ones, which are borage. Uh, which are classic to put into ice cubes uh, for summer for summer drinks for your pims, but you can have soft drinks as well. And then another bit of an experiment, we've got some flowers from the mullein plant, which we've been growing this year. Lovely, um, beautiful flower for uh, attracting pollinating insects, but they're also edible flowers for us. So we're going to pop those in an ice cube. Some geraniums which are um, you can you are edible as well as attractive. And then a real experiment, Herb Robert, which is a classic edible plant, but it also has a really pungent flavour. So I, again, it's all an experiment of how this will transfer to being in an ice cube. And then one that's new for me, which are sunflower leaf, uh, petals. So here we've got some from the Harlequin sunflower, which have these lovely, almost brown and yellow patterning to them so I think they'll look really attractive in the uh, ice cubes but more classically they're used in salads and things they are quite bitter so you might only have a few at a time so what I'm going to do is uh, put a selection of all the, the flowers and petals into the ice cube tray as you can see here I'm trying to film myself and do the activity what you want to do is make sure that the petals are going to be submerged in the water uh, when you freeze them. I think that will work better to make uh, the ice cubes like that. So spend some time arranging your petals. For the larger flowers like the calendula, you'll have to take the petals off the main flower and put them in. And it doesn't matter if, can you see, you can mix the petals up a bit. I think that will only add to how attractive it is. So once you do that, I'll just... Uh, quickly finish off i think we'll just have to have a piece of nasturtium flower in these sorry if the filming's gone a bit wonky this is a first live almost live and uh, what you do once you're happy that you've got some petals in each of your uh, I, uh, spaces in your ice cube tray then what i've done is i've boiled some water let it cool and apparently for some unknown scientific reason the water will dry uh, in a clearer form than if we just use normal tap water straight away so that's beyond me in, in why it works but we're going to see if it works so here we are so i've just got it in a uh, thermos here freeze and this may go wrong because i'm trying to do two or more things at once so I'm just going to use, put the water to fill the ice cube tray as you would. Don't worry about spillages, it's just water. It can be uh, cleaned up in a moment. And I'm going to take these to my freezer. And I'll, uh, when I put it in the freezer, I'll just make sure all the petals are submerged. And then I think it will take about an hour or so to freeze. And then I will add that bit onto the video and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, see you later folks. Bye bye.